Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. My name is Siobhan. For all of the new subscribers who are here, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and helping me achieve my goal of 10,000 subscribers last year. So today I want to share with you an initial setup of my Louis Vuitton agenda. This is the GM size. This is the largest ring agenda that Louis Vuitton does carry. It comes with 30 mm gold rings and you can basically purchase inserts or make your own inserts if you are considering purchasing this type of agenda. So I set this up as my regular everyday carry, but I'm not sure if I really love carrying this um, size around with me. I've kind of been in the um, in my Paul notebook cover, as you guys have already um, seen. So this is the Paul notebook cover, and this is what I was using from October of last year. So look, um, I took this off because I was doing something, but I'm going to put it back. So back to the agenda setup. This is just a quick flip. I, I'm not even going to say it's a quick flip because it may turn into long. So basically, um, this is what I put together. Um, this little, I think this is like acetate or something like that. It's from, I think, Kat Espresso. She's on Instagram and you can purchase from her shop. I'm not sure if she's open yet, but I checked the other day and she was on vacation. In the pockets here, I have just some DIY cards that I made. This is a bookmark. I just tucked it in here for now because I'm not using it as yet. And then this Chanel um, Coco Nure is a perfume box that I just cut to get something black. Um, this is a January card, and this is a sticker from Naomi Love Design. I thought that the color palette went with this look, so I wanted to keep that there. So this, um, I don't even know what this is called, but it's very thick. You can use it to, like, put sticky notes on it. Maybe if you have, like, a dry erase, you can do that as well. Everything else in this planner, um, unless I mention it, I did make them myself. This focus dashboard is f made from Canva. There's lots of templates and photos that you can use if you want to set up a planner and not really splurge too much. Um, I print on um, photo matte paper. So that's, that's why this comes out so beautiful. The paper is very good. Um, this holiday, 2021 list of holidays is from um unity unity creations she's planet girls rock on instagram you can check her out this is from a shop on etsy i will link this i printed it on parchment paper this is a it's like 59 pounds parchment paper it comes in regular letter size eight and a half by 11 and you can print and put things in your planner i love using this as an alternative to dashboards the thicker ones because the thicker ones tend to bulk up the planner a little bit more so i like to use this one which is a little less bulky and i can see through it it creates like um, a little bit of layering and just a little bit more character this is from peach palm i've purchased this probably several times and i've included this in all of my setups so here is the back of the same um, dashboard. These are just some black post-it notes. These are listed on my Amazon page along with the gold and white pen that I used to make this. This is um, something I did on Canva. This picture is actually from the Chanel website. I just kind of copied and pasted it. So this little pocket here is not a pocket. It was just um, acetate from simply gilded i kind of just put some double-sided tape here to create this pocket and i cut this side down and i wanted to make like a cute little clear pocket so that's what that is and the, these sticker sheets this one is from jameson redesign and then i have some self-care stuff from naomi love design i will list her shop below you can check her out actually her website is naomilovedesigns.com she just i don't know think she's on etsy anymore um and then this is from Paper Panda. I love coffee and all things coffee related. So that was very cute. So here I have this checkered um, dashboard that I printed also on the parchment paper. And I use it to like keep memos on. Um, this is a thing I found that image somewhere online and I made it into that myself. So one thing that I did not do in this planner is create tabs because 
being in a bound book for so long i kind of love the simplicity of just having um like a book without having actual tabs it kind of complicated things to me and it just made me feel a little bit overwhelmed so i opted to do these little sticky tabs i got these from the container store and i just put one for the different sections of the planner so this section is the monthly inserts i got this from hourglass printables i think she's on etsy and i printed them it's january to december I'm, i tried to do the full year in the planner so i don't have to keep adding and removing and then I move on to the daily section. So the daily, this is a goal without a plan is just a wish. Also made on Canva. You can type in anything and get whatever image ideas that you're looking for. So this is um, a freebie from Lix, L-I-X-X, -X, I believe. And um, I printed it on the back of the dashboard because I don't like blank pages. And I just wrote down some planning routines. This initial card is from the paper source. It was on clearance. This is from Peach Palm. And then on the back of that, I had this adhesive pocket that I put some of the most used stickers. These stickers were supposed to be to decorate the monthly section for January. I will do that if I decide to use this planner. So this is the weekly planning section or daily. This is just blank pages that I made and printed on um, from Canva because I am not, I did not want to have like specific days. And the main part of the planner is having a monthly section that is dated. I can plan ahead there and then I can do weekly or daily planning in this section. So kind of keep the same idea with my notebook. It's just a little bit different now. So this section is it's in the back of the weekly. I added a couple week on one page. These are some blank week on one page that I made. And I'm not sure if I listed them on my shop, but just so you can have a better look. So you write the week off and it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, memo and a little tracker here. If it's not in my shop, I will definitely list it. If you're interested, let me know. Um, let love grow home and garden section is for the basically home and garden section this is a sticker sheet from Nora's cove that i thought was very cute and fit in for this section and this washi tape i believe came from michael's so this little pocket here i'm not even sure where i got it from it's so old it was originally for my disc bound and i just punched some holes in it and added it here it works great for adding like cash or stickers or note cards, whatever you want to add into it. So my plan for the home and garden section is to have a master grocery list, things that we always shop for. So it makes it a little bit easier when it comes to shopping. I plan on having a page for my kids information, such as your teachers, important information related to each child. One will have their own page. Um, and any of the home things and then basically, you know, my full blown garden spread that I'm going to do at some point to plan for the spring garden season. So that's that. And then here, I'm not sure why I added this little um, dashboard here. I printed this on um, vellum paper from Michaels. And this is a collage that I made on Canva. You can check out the tutorial that I showed you how to do that um let's see wait i think i'm in another section let me just double check sorry for the noise everyone's home now um yeah i think i missed the section with the tabs okay so this section here is supposed to start my self-care or wellness section I didn't put a tab here, but this is from Grace and the Pretty. She's on Instagram as Grace and the Pretty, but on Etsy, it's and the Pretty. And I printed it on the same parchment paper because it's see-through and it does not have a blank back. So that's another reason why I love printing on this paper. It's on my Etsy. It's on mine on my Etsy, my Amazon affiliate page. So you can check that out. This is from... Michael's I cut it down to make a dashboard and I have this period tracker from hourglass printables on Etsy I printed it front and back and the Chanel dashboard is from Royal Planner Shop. She's on Instagram um, It comes on very thick vellum 
and then i tried to make a list of things that i love to do so sometimes we are in little moods or zones where we need like a pick me up and we don't know what to do so i can just refer to this list so that's what that's for also printed on the same paper and this is my pain and symptom log because that is something that i track very closely and then blank pages to make the self-care health wellness section you know come basically come alive <laughs> so this is the section that says dreams the tabs from the container store are not really specific so i just kind of pick one that kind of went with the sections that i needed so the dreams is for this well-planned life and here i have basically everything related to this well-planned life um, I have an expense tracker and an income tracker so I can be more organized when it's tax time. And then I have blank pages to do my brand collaboration, YouTube ideas, Instagram post ideas, metrics, tracking, and all that stuff. And then the last section of this is going to be the work section. So this is a dashboard that I tried to print, but I messed up somehow and it didn't fully aligned properly when I printed it out. So it says work and this is the actual Louis Vuitton insert um, dashboard. I just got the image off the Louis Vuitton website. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but it's for personal use. I'm not selling it. <laughs> and then after that, I have some holidays here, some work stuff, and then this little thin paper was supposed to be like a dashboard to put sticky notes on for work and then i have this paper with some work passwords and then some really thin grid dot pages for work notes i do most of my work on outlook and in my lap work ipad or my work cell phone so i just needed work blank pages for work and that's the setup for in there and then in the back tucked away i have this little notebook that i made from i got a little um grid notebook from a stationery store and this is a whole separate thing from something else and then these are from an old planner i took off and i added it here it was kind of like a whole diy type of situation so this is my finance little notebook i wanted it to keep it separate because i have a lot of stuff to track this year lots of financial goals so i add, i did the 2021 highlighted all our paydays um for my husband and myself um this dave ramsey baby step has been in all of my setups i just kind of put it in here this i will have my monthly bill tracker i started to write that and then all the note pages to either track bills that we paid off or to track payments that we made very simple didn't want to over complicate it i tuck it in the back here and it closes very nicely on the planner so that is a setup like i said I did set it up. I love the polished look of it. And I think that's more of the reason why I always go back to this is because I just like that polished look and the brown canvas is just so beautiful. But in reality, I don't really like the rings anymore. This is kind of like me trying to love it, but I really don't. I had it for like a day and it's just like I wasn't happy with it. Um, I don't know if I'll ever want to come back to rings because being in a, in a notebook for a couple months has kind of opened my eyes to make me see what i really love versus what i don't so i have some things going on here with the um stylogy and i have this little planner here that i want to also work with so more diys to kind of make this my own i was only i was playing with this so i'm not sure how i'm gonna put it back but i will fix it it's fixable it's not broken or anything and um, I also in addition to this one as an option I do have my desk agenda with a Hobonichi cousin and that Hobonichi cousin is brand new for 2021 if it's great so I'm not really sure what my intentions are but I I'm just gonna not be so hard on myself to kind of figure it out this is a beautiful setup it's beautiful to look at i would actually like to keep this open on my desk to look at it but for me i'm not really a fan of the rings anymore i don't like disc anymore and i need a bound book of some sort 
So that is my setup. I will link as much information in the description as far as what you saw here. If you have any questions, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. Bye.